Nails Diary. My name is Josa and I'm really happy to have you here. If you're not yet subscribed to this channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button along with the notification bell. That way you get notified every time we post a new video as well as leaving a beautiful like and a beautiful comment down below. Ahorita todos bienvenidos a este canal, Muñequitas Nails Diary. Me da mucha alegría tenerlos por aquí. Si son nuevos por aquí, no se les olvide darle al botón de suscribir junto con activar la campanita de notificaciones para que así les avise cada vez que subimos un nuevo video. Igual no se les olvide dejarnos un hermoso like junto con un comentario hermoso allá abajito. Y sin nada más que decir, continuamos. So, I don't know if you could see my eyes are kind of swollen. No sé si alcanzan a ver mis ojos, están un poco hinchados. Um, I did have an anxiety attack this morning. I haven't slept well in a few nights I'll sleep little by two hours at a time but I haven't slept a good eight hours at all este si me miran los ojos poquito hinchados porque no he dormido bien en las, en las, las últimas semanas eh, he dormido como horas a la vez dos o tres horas pero no he dormido completamente unas ocho horas porque pues yo tengo fe en Dios, yo le pido a Dios y todo, pero yo tengo uh, problemas de ansiedad hormonales, no son de que es mi mente la que lo controla. Y pues todo esto que está pasando sí me crea miedo y activa más mi ansiedad, así que tenía un poco más de ansiedad. So basically, um, I was trying to figure out what that was. <laughs> no sabía que era eso. Basically, and I'm sorry, I'm sitting here in the dark, the babies are sleeping here in the living room. <coughs> well, one of them is, the other one's awake. Uh, but I, my anxiety triggers that I don't even want to say it anymore. My anxiety has been above the roof. Um, it's kind of like y'all know if you know about this autoimmune autoimmune diseases and anxiety. You know your mind doesn't turn off, and if it doesn't turn off, you don't sleep, and the more you don't sleep, the more anxiety you get, and so on and so forth. And then with this stuff going on, apart from you already having that issue, it's really, it's really, you know, taking a toll on me. So yeah. Ahorita salió mi esposo a comprar ya el último mandado porque hoy viernes a la medianoche van a cerrar todas las calles. Nadie debe salir al menos que solo vayas a la farmacia a comprar mandado y dicen que a los parques, pero yo ni a los parques iría. Um, solo eso puede salir, no puedes hacer cualquier otra cosa. Y si vas a trabajar necesitas una tarjetita que compruebe que eh, vas a un trabajo que es esencial. Para el, para el mundo, ¿no? So basically, um, right now I sent my husband to buy groceries because we're going to be in lockdown completely for like 10 days, I think. Like total complete lockdown, not even workers that are not essential are going to go out. So um, he went to buy groceries because the only thing he could go out for is for pharmacy, um, groceries, and um, it says to go out to the park and exercise, but I wouldn't even do that. But um, complete lockdown from... 6 p.m. tonight until the 10th at, um, I think today's the 3rd. So from tonight until the 13th, we're in complete lockdown. If you're not an essential worker, you cannot leave your house. So like if you're not a pharmacist or grocery worker or doctor or maybe that do like food for delivery and stuff, you cannot, um, you cannot leave your house. So... That's what's going on right now here where I live. I don't know what's going on with you guys. Let me know. No sé cómo la estén pasando ustedes donde están. Aquí completamente no puedes dejar tu casa, como les digo. Desde las 6 de la tarde hoy <coughs> hasta el, no sé, el día 13, supuestamente. Hasta que, o sea, mientras no dicen otra cosa, es hasta entonces. Also, my kids got their school canceled for the rest of the year. They're still doing online, but they're not going to go back to classes. Igual mis hijos les cancelaron clases. O sea, van a hacer clases en línea, pero no van a ir a la escuela. No van a asistir, no van a asistir en su salón. 
se está canijo. Um, so yeah, um, I'm recording this Friday, but you're gonna see little clips of what we've been up to. Not much actually, but little clips of what we've been up to. Eh, after all of this talking. <laughs> esto, esto, eso va a estar al principio del video y ahorita van a ver cositas que he grabado. Eh, no he grabado mucho para este canal, pero sí he grabado para los uños, de las uñas porque eso me distrae. Eh, pero ahorita van a ver otras cosas. Pero solo les quiero decir que a pesar de mi ansiedad, que es por mi mente, mi corazón tiene fe en Dios y Dios no nos desampara, no nos desamparará. O sea, sigan orando sin cesar, sigan rogando, rogándole a Dios. Sabes que a lo mejor esto es como un jalón de orejas que nuestro Padre Dios está diciendo, no saben qué, háganme caso, obedezcan mis leyes, no las acoplen a su, a su conveniencia, sino obedezcanlas como son. Digo, tal vez eso sea. Yo sé que no tengo muchas vistas en este canal, pero sería bonito pasar ese mensaje a ustedes si tienen más vistas en sus canales o X. Que pues tal vez eso es lo que Dios quiere, que obedezcamos sus leyes tal cual y que no las estemos acomodando a, nuestras conveni a nuestra conveniencia. Porque lo hemos hecho. Soy culpable. No lo niego. A veces um, acoplamos las leyes a nuestra conveniencia y no estamos obedeciendo a Dios correctamente. Y esto es como un jalón de orejas como fue el, el diluvio o cuando... Se destruyó su domingo morra. Pero sí. I know this is super long with me talking in both languages, but um, I just want to say, you know, my mind goes crazy with fear, but my heart has faith in God. And um, I have faith that if all of us start seeking God more and um, start obeying his laws, how he expects us to obey them, not the way that we conveniently manipulate them to how we want them to be. You know what I'm saying? Um, maybe, uh, you know, if we all fold our knees to him, ask for forgiveness for all our sins and start obeying his laws ex exactly how he wanted us to obey them. Because we're all, I'm a sinner. I've, you know, sometimes we think, oh, maybe he didn't mean that. He meant this. And we're, we try to fix stuff to our convenience instead of following the law how it's supposed to be in to God's convenience or to God's joy. And um, I don't know if I'm explaining myself right. That's what's in my heart, and I'm telling you guys. And maybe if we fold our knees and we, we ask for forgiveness and we change our ways, you know, this is going to... The faster we do that, the faster this will disappear. I feel like that's what's, what needs to happen. I know I'm a small channel. Not a lot of people are going to see this. But if you see this, share this or whatever if you feel the same way I, same way I feel. So, yeah. Also, I think that's all I needed to say. Just see God. Build a relationship with him, basically. Build a relationship with him, ask for forgiveness, and try to follow his footsteps, you know? Like the samples he gave us in the Bible of who to follow. There's Job, there's Jesus, there's all this stuff that we, we need to learn how to follow and not manipulate it to our convenience. Como les decía, también tenemos que crear una relación con Dios eh, extensiva y para siempre, no nomás en estos momentos de dificultad. Also, don't just... To have a relationship right now when we're going through this. Have a, a forever relationship with him, whether hard times or not hard times, you know. And even though we're going through these times, praise him with joy. Pray to him with joy. Love him with joy. Because he will take us out of this. Otra cosa que les quería decir es que la relación que tengas con él, que no solo sea en este momento, no sé si me estoy repitiendo, pero que sea para siempre, una relación para siempre, uh, alabarlo con gozo, Orar con gozo a pesar de la, lo que estamos pasando y vivir con gozo porque Él, Él nos va a sacar de eso. Así como ha sacado a muchos en la historia de la Biblia que hemos visto. Nosotros lo vemos como que, wow, Dios es todo poderoso, pero no nos imaginamos lo que esa gente pasó en ese momento para ver la, la gracia de Dios, los milagros de Dios. Y es lo que tenemos que poner nosotros de rodilla y, y hacer lo que necesitamos hacer para complacer a Dios para que todo esto ya... Manitos, ¿estás ready for school? Anito, I just tell your brother to stay for school. Anito, time to get ready for school. Anito, it's time to get ready for school. Come on. Come on, it's time to go to school. Anito. Hey, Santa, you ready for school? Come on, let's go to school. Child, it's too early. Come on, Angel already ready to go to school? Get up. Come on. 
You don't want to go to school? It's time to go to school, mister. Come on. Mm, I can tell it. Hmm? It's not even time. Yes, look at outside. It's time to go to school. Sí te entiendo, Miki, pero pues no puedes abrir tu parque ahorita. Estamos en cuarentena. Pues ponte a vender cosas en línea. Bueno, me imagino que sí puedes vender. ¿Ustedes saben si pueden vender cosas en línea, Miki? Pero te dije que en cuarentena no puedes abrir tus theme parks. Puedes vender cosas online. What do you think, Captain America? That's right. See, he's not opening Universal Studio either. So you you also have to tell. Uh huh. You see, Captain America is right. I I totally agree with Captain. America. We're doing a devotional with Twelve Stone, the church we used to go to. They have a devotional every day online, and the question is, can you think of a time you were scared but God helped you? Estamos haciendo devocional con la iglesia donde iba en las otras ciudades donde vivía y la pregunta es eh, puedes pensar en una, un momento en que tú tenías miedo y Dios te ayudó y cómo te ayudó and you also answer how did he help so Angel what was your answer you want to say your answer open your book you were still writing open your book baby do you want to give your answer baby in quarantine okay why are you scared of the quarantine and stuff <clears throat> because people are still going outside and we don't know if we invited somebody inside that's carrying it well we don't really get visitors so we should be good or dad just gets it and then we get it so that scares you and how does um god help you we pray and i feel better and i feel better because god's god's promise is real right and i also sing the praise lord the lord Ok, él dice que él tiene miedo de todo lo que está pasando en cuarentena, de la gente que no se queda encerrada. Tiene miedo porque su papá tiene que salir a trabajar y no sabe si cuando venga va a traer algo. Pero que le ayuda a eh, estar leyendo la Biblia, a estar haciendo estudios y la promesa de Dios que él nos va a cuidar. Nos pasamos a la, a la siguiente pregunta que es, ¿qué has tratado de hacer con tu propio poder en vez de confiar en el poder de Dios? Second question is, you can read, what have you been trying to do in your own power instead of trusting in the power of God? Right now they're writing down their questions. I'm, I'm participating as well in my sloppy writing. But last question. Um, I put that sometimes we want to control stuff and instead of trusting that God's going to, you know, do stuff. Like I wanted to control my daughters to make sure they did the right thing instead of trusting that God would help me make the right, right choice um, if I let them out or whatnot. But I wouldn't do that. I was really controlling and I messed up. Um, So that's one of the things and sometimes we have a hard time trusting him and letting him take the wheel. Um, we think we could parent on our own, in other words, but we can't. We can't parent without God. And Juanita, what was your answer for the number two? My answer was we depend on the world more than we depend on God. Yeah, we seek the world for answers rather than seeking God for answers. And Angel still don't understand much of it. He's on the floor writing down the question. So for the pregunta number two, la pasada, yo contesté. Okay. Yo contesté que es muy difícil um, crear a los niños. Queremos nosotros controlar todo lo que hacen para que no se equivoquen. Ese fue mi error. Mi error básicamente fue no confiar en que Dios me las guiaría a tomar la decisión correcta si las dejaba salir o X cosa. Y es muy difícil dejarlo. Fue muy difícil creer en Dios, dejarlo tomar la manejadera y todo de la situación. Y este, a veces pensamos que podemos hacer eso nosotros bien y no tenemos que 
depender de Dios y creer en que Dios. So I invite you guys to answer this question right here. Los invito a que contesten esta pregunta ustedes entre su familia. I invite you to answer it amongst your family and yourself. You don't have to comment anything down below unless you want to. But no tienen que comentar abajo si no quieren, pero si gustan compartir con nosotros porque están agradecidos. Son 12 cosas por las cuales estás agradecido con Dios porque Él te ayudó en esa situación. Nosotros lo vamos a hacer, pero no les vamos a mostrar porque tal vez tardaríamos mucho. <risa> pero este sí, estamos muy agradecidos con Dios de igual modo. Eh, nosotros esto estamos haciendo durante cuarentena, todas las noches, un estudio bíblico para fortalecer la fe de cada quien y nutrirnos de la palabra de Dios. This is what we're doing every night, like a little Bible study um, to strengthen our faith and um, trust in God that God is in control and just to nourish ourselves from the